What is up you guys? Welcome back to another one. If you are new to the channel, I am Gold Pony. That is me on the screen right there. But wanted to do a little bit different of a comparison that you don't usually see quite often. The 2021 Kia Seltos, brand new vehicle for this year versus the 2020 Volkswagen Tiguan. And so both of these two are very popular compact SUVs. Seltos being all new from Kia for 2021. Tiguan is already a legend in its own right. First introduced back in 2007. And so in this video, if you're new to my comparison, some videos I'll be going over the top 10 key differences between the two with a very clear winner at the end but at the very least hopefully at least this video will give you a clear understanding as to the differences between these two and better help you make a decision for you and your own family so let's go ahead and get started with number 10 on the list and work our way to number one and so the first comparison is going to be the price. Of course, 2021 Kia Celto starts at a price of $21,990. 2020 Volkswagen Tiguan is going to start at $24,945. Then going up to the top trim levels of both of these, the Celtos SX Turbo starts at $27,890. Tiguan SEL Premium R-Line starts at $38,795. So if you were comparing the two base trim levels, the Seltos is going to be $2,955 less. If you were comparing the top of the line trims for each SUV, the Seltos once again is going to be less expensive, but this time by $10,905. So therefore, Seltos wins our first comparison being price. Let's move on to the next one. And so for this next comparison, I of course have to compare the power differences. And so the main difference between these two is the Seltos actually gives you two engine setups, whereas the Tiguan gives you one. Seltos base engine setup is going to be a two liter naturally aspirated inline four cylinder, producing 146 horsepower, 132 pound feet of torque, giving you a zero to 60 time, approximately 8.5 seconds. Then the other engine setup for the Seltos is going to be a more powerful 1.6 liter turbocharged inline four cylinder. That one puts out 175 horsepower, 195 pound feet of torque. Zero to 60 time has been tested by Motor Trend coming in at 7.3 seconds, which quite honestly is very impressive for a compact SUV. Then on the other hand, when it comes to the Volkswagen Tiguan, that engine setup is going to be a two liter turbocharged inline four cylinder, 184 horsepower, 221 pound feet of torque. Sounds like a good bit, honestly, but when you take into account the weight of the Tiguan, along with the gearing ratios of the Tiguan, zero to 60 actually comes in at 8.6 seconds, according to Motor Trend, so a substantial difference. Even the base engine of the Seltos will get you to 60 before the Tiguan will, so. For that reason, Kia Seltos wins once again. It is now two to nothing, Kia Seltos. Let's move on to number eight. And so for my number eight comparison, I have to compare the miles per gallon between the two. The Kia Seltos front wheel drive configuration with the two liter comes in at 29 MPGs in the city, 34 on the highway. When it comes to the all wheel drive 1.6 liter turbocharged setup, 25 city, 30 on the highway. And so on the other side of things, taking a look at the Tiguan, the front wheel drive configuration comes in at 22 city, 29 highway, all wheel drive configuration, 20 in the city, 27 on the highway. Seltos wins, whether you're looking for the front wheel drive setup or all wheel drive, both of them take 87 octane by the way, in case anybody was curious, that's the cheap stuff, the regular unleaded, but that leads us at three to nothing. Seltos is still in the lead. All right, so for our number seven comparison, as I mentioned earlier, the Tiguan is going to be a little bit bigger than the Seltos. So for number seven, we are going to compare cargo space. When it comes to the Seltos, 26.6 cubic feet behind that second row, 62.8 cubic feet with the rear seats folded down. It's a decent amount for the segment. Then take a look at the Tiguan. The Tiguan actually offers a third row configuration that's optional. So behind that third row, it's 12 cubic feet. Behind the second row with a three row configuration, at least it's 33 cubic feet. And with all rows folded, 65.7 cubic feet. But here's the kicker. If you go with the two row configuration with the Tiguan, you actually get more cubic feet. For instance, behind that second row, 37.6 cubic feet. And with all rows folded, 73.5 compared to the 62.8 in the Seltos. Therefore, 
Tiguan is most definitely going to win this comparison. That now puts us at 3-1, Seltos in the lead. Number six on the list is going to be rear legroom. Seltos comes in in an even 38 inches for that second row. When it comes to the Tiguan, if you go with the three row configuration at least, in the second row it's going to come in at 36.5 inches. With the two row configuration, comparing apples to apples there, 38.7 inches. So once again, with the Tiguan being a larger compact SUV, it is going to win this comparison as well. So that puts us at now, three to two, Seltos in the lead still. Next on my list, I wanted to compare the exterior differences. And so I don't want to compare styling because styling is of course subjective. It's going to mean something different to everybody. And quite honestly, they both look good in my opinion. So we'll call that part a tie at least. But what I want to do with the exterior is to compare the standard features for both of those SUVs. So for instance, roof rails come standard with the Seltos S for $21,990. Roof rails on the Tiguan is going to come in on the S trim level for $24,000. $945. LED headlights coming standard on the top trim levels of both. So obviously, Seltos is going to be less expensive if you wanted to get those LED headlights. LED taillights with the Seltos S coming in at $21,990. Tiguan S coming in at $24,945. So overall, since the Seltos provides more exterior features for less money, I got to give this point to the Seltos once again, which puts it at a four to two ball game. Seltos still in the lead. Then for our number four comparison, I have to review safety. And this is kind of a tough one because typically in the US we go by NHTSA and also IIHS. But with the Kia Seltos being such a new compact SUV, Neither of those two groups have actually tested the Seltos yet, but so there's a little known country in the world called Australia and they have NCAP or ANCAP crash test ratings. So we're gonna be comparing these two using those ratings because they have been tested by them. And so ultimately both scored a five out of five crash test ratings by this ANCAP rating organization, but they actually go further to break down their ratings, comparing things like adult occupant protection, child occupant protection, pedestrian detection and safety assist systems. So when it comes to adult occupant protection, Tiguan one scored 96%, obviously the higher the percentage, the better. Seltos scored 85%. When it comes to child occupant protection, Tiguan comes in at 80%, Seltos 83%. Pedestrian detection comes in at 68% for the Tiguan, 61% for the Seltos. And safety assist systems, the Tiguan is gonna come in at 68%, Seltos 70%, which actually, puts us at a tie. So each one, two different categories and with both of them being a five-star crash test rating, ultimately I have to overall give this one as a tie since they are completely even there, which keeps our score remaining at four to two Seltos in the lead. It's so a number three on the comparison list here is going to be interior quality. Both offer leather or leatherette seating. Both offer a leather wrapped steering wheel. Heated steering wheel you can only get with the Tiguan, not the Seltos. Digital gauges you can only get with the Tiguan, and I'm talking about a full digital gauge cluster, not the digital gauge cluster in the middle with the two analog ones on the sides there. So Tiguan takes the digital gauges as well. Power sunroof comes on the Seltos. Panoramic sunroof comes on the Tiguan. It's gonna be a larger one, of course. Ambient lighting does come on both. And when it comes to the tech displays, eight inch color touchscreen display is the good one for the Tiguan. 10 and a quarter inch color touchscreen display is the upgraded one for the Seltos. So the Seltos, if you're looking for something techy, the Seltos is definitely gonna be the way to go there. But since the Tiguan on the interior offers more features than the Seltos, like the heated steering wheel, digital gauges, and panoramic sunroof, Tiguan is going to win our interior comparison for those reasons, putting our score at four to three, Seltos barely in the lead. Then for our number two comparison, a very important one comparing the braking between these two. And so braking of course is important if you have kids in the car or if you are using these vehicles as possibly a commuter car in rush hour traffic, you have to come to a quick stop. You gotta know you have good brakes. And so the way I judge that is by 60 to zero stopping distance. So let me start with the Seltos here. 11 inch ventilated front disc for the NA engine, 12 inch ventilated front disc for the turbocharged engine. In the back, 10.3 inch solid rear disc for the NA engine and 11.2 inch solid rear disc for the turbocharged engine. 
On the other hand, when it comes to the Tiguan, 13.4 inch ventilated front discs, 11.8 inch solid rear discs. So obviously the Tiguan does have bigger brakes, but that is to be expected with it being a larger vehicle. So really, again, what it comes down to is the 60 to zero stopping distance in terms of feet. And so when you look at the Seltos, that actually comes in at 120 feet even, tested by Motor Trend. And then on the other hand, again by Motor Trend, Volkswagen Tiguan comes in at 134 feet. And so that is a very substantial difference between those two. So once again, because of that 60 to zero stopping distance, this one is going to go to the Seltos. Five to three Seltos in the lead. And so for a last comparison, it is going to be reliability. And although you guys already know the Seltos won my particular comparison, reliability is definitely an important comparison that I had to note as well. And even with the Seltos being a brand new vehicle, as far as predictor reliability goes, it is extremely easy to predict the reliability of that. And I'll explain why in a second here. And so taking a look at consumer reports, when it comes to the Volkswagen Tiguan, it is rated at a below average reliability. The way Consumer Reports does their reliability rankings, there's well below average, below average, average, above average, and well above average. So that will be the breakdown as far as the way they do things there. But, and when it comes to the Kia Seltos, like I was saying, there is no reliability reports yet because it literally just came out. So what I can tell you is the Seltos uses the same engine options as the Hyundai Kona, also the same transmission options as the Hyundai Kona as well, being a CVT or seven speed automatic. And so for those of you who don't know, Hyundai and Kia are kind of like brother and sister companies. Hyundai purchased Kia a while ago. And since then, Kia has been using a lot of Hyundai's research and development and their engines and transmissions and so on. So that is why they are so often compared basically. But I can tell you when it comes to the Hyundai Kona, according to Consumer Report, Reports, it is a well above average reliability rating, the very highest. And since the Kia Seltos uses essentially all the same stuff that's in the Hyundai Kona, you can probably come to the conclusion that the Kia Seltos is going to be a very reliable vehicle, perhaps just like the Hyundai Kona, since they all use the same stuff. It should be well above average for that particular reason. So all in all, putting all of that together, Kia Seltos wins my particular comparison here, six to three in the end. But I will say ultimately before you go here, although the Seltos won my comparison, that doesn't necessarily mean that it is the right compact SUV for you. For example, if you were looking for a third row, more cargo space or more rear legroom, obviously the Volkswagen Tiguan is going to be the better choice for you. But ultimately let me know which ones you guys would pick in the comment section below. Do appreciate you guys watching. Feel free to follow me on social media at the bottom of the screen there if you like. Be sure to hit the subscribe and the bell notification button if you haven't already, if you're into new car reviews. And I will see you guys in the next video. Stay gold.